again everyone this is Brian with bsintech.com today I'm going to bring to you the final episode of the rain barrel system I have now upgraded the system so it now has 12 55 gallon drums so it has a total water capacity of 660 gallons of water in addition to that I've also made a couple other changes so that I can actually make compost tea on a larger scale and put that right into the rain barrels so that way it can be delivered directly to the water for the plants. That way it all mixes together and it will have a one part compost tea to three parts water mixture. So let's go ahead and look at some photos and I'll show you how it works. All right, and you can see the full system up there. There are 12 55 gallon drums on a raised platform. They are raised up to be just underneath the gutters. The reason for this is because it allows for pressure when the water drains down into the PVC irrigation system. If I just set these directly on the ground, I wouldn't have nearly as much pressure. Right now the barrels are about halfway full, so there's about 330 gallons of water. I actually had to use some duct tape and I taped up some downspouts on the house roof and uh, so that hopefully now about one inch of rain will fill this up. I have a 24 by 24 foot garage and all of the rain water from that goes into these barrels and then I have one or excuse me I have one downspout from the house that is diverted over to the garage roof and then that delivers water from the garage roof which is probably about 50 by 24. Now down at the bottom you can see I have three barrels. This is the new addition. This is for the compost tea. I have three 55 gallon barrels and then on the right hand side I have a trash container and you can see that I have them all connected by PVC pipe. You can see it under there and then what this does is this barrel right here receives water from the rain barrel system. Right here is a valve that I can turn on and off and then this one here is a master valve that separates three rain barrels from nine. So I can close this and the idea here is to drain all the water from three rain barrels down in here and then this this container is filled with all kinds of goodies as you can see and then it will slowly trickle through there and then as as it goes through it goes down through this PVC pipe and it makes the level with all four exactly the same. So after the three rain barrels up here are completely emptied then all the water will be down here and it will be compost tea. So it's basically free fertilizer. Now this trash container is open at the top and I have a little bit of compost tea in there. There it is. And the idea here is to put a small pump in here. And actually, it's right here. This is the small pump. It's just a small 1 6 horsepower pump. And then I just connect it to this hose. So there's the hose. And then when I turn it on, it will pump all the compost tea from all these barrels. And it goes up and it drains into that barrel up there. So it will then refill those three barrels with some compost tea and it will be delivered directly in with the irrigation system. That way it prevents me from having to go through and manually fertilize everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how this is done. First of all, I will want to go ahead and close this. That way it seals off the rest of the water from the rest of the system to ensure that only the water from these three barrels up here, there's one, there's two, and there's three, will be sent down here. And then I'll go ahead and turn this pipe, and I'll let the water flow. Now I like to keep this at more of a trickle um, instead of going full blown, because if I let it go uh, open full with the ball valve, then it may not get enough tea or it may not uh, mix as well. So this is going to take probably an hour or so to do and then I'll be back and then we'll start pumping this back up into the barrels. 
Well, let's take a little break now, and I wanted to uh, answer a question that I had some some uh, viewers here. Um, they were questioning how good is the pressure of one of these raised barrel systems. So right here is one of my garden beds. I have peas on the left hand side, which is why I have some chicken wire fencing. And then I have two different varieties of broccoli and cauliflower here on the right hand side. Now if you notice, look at the PVC pipe here. This is a main run. This is three fourths inch and then it goes into another ball valve and this is one half of an inch. So this line here feeds directly into the rain barrel system which is just all the way back there. So it runs all the way here. This is probably about 30 feet of pipe up to this point. And then all I have to do is wherever I want to do the water, I just turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And then it's going to start flowing. Now keep in mind that the rain barrels are only halfway full right now. So the pressure won't be nearly as good as if it was all the way full. Now if you notice this PVC pipe goes all the way up there which is about 20 feet and then it wraps all the way back around where the, where the peas are at and then it continues over here where I have some onions and some cinder blocks. See look how long that run is. There's probably 30 feet of pipe right there and then there's another 20 and another 20 so you're looking at a good 80 feet of pipe. Now here Here's a perfect example. You can see the flow of the water. It's just just perfect for a drip irrigation system. Now I will leave this on for only about five minutes and I think five minutes is more than sufficient to provide the water. Okay, it's had a little bit of a chance to go ahead and percolate through the leaves and the other dead plant materials uh, for making the compost tea. So we'll go ahead and show you now how you just basically pump it right back up into the rain barrels so it's delivered right through the irrigation system. I've only given it probably about 10 or 15 minutes, but you can see just how quickly the container here has filled up. If you remember just moments ago, the container was much, much lower than this. And now with the uh, pump that I have down here, I pump in some water, or excuse me, some air. And uh, then I also circulate it with an aquarium power head, and then it makes this nice bubble frothy like mixture. Um, but you can see here that I have the, the uh, hose and I also have the motor or the pump down in there. So now it's just a matter of plugging in the pump. And there it goes. Now it's being, now it's being taken from here. You can see the water level going down. Look how fast that's going. And it's pumping all the way up into that first barrel there. So then I will make the compost tea with the rainwater. And you can see that I have this two inch PVC pipe that is connecting all the barrels underneath. And my ball valve here is still closed until I completely finish this whole process. So that's, that's the completely done rain barrel system. Um, I can't think of anything else that I can add on to it, and it's perfect for my needs. This again is Brian with BSNTech.com, and thank you for watching.